It's 8 a.m. You're watching Good Day Atlanta live from the Fox 5 studios. And also coming up uh, this hour, we'll talk with Josh Hartnett. The guy is hot right now. He's, um, gosh, what? He's got two movies out, Black Hawk Down, 40 Days and 40 Nights. And he, he's doing quite well. Also, I just want to encourage everybody, stick around for the end of the show. Uh, we have a little announcement at the end of the show. And, and uh, you don't want to miss that. If you've got uh, a fiend for some music today, we, we'd like to keep you covered there. We've got classical guitars coming on. Who is one of Atlanta's own? We'll tell you what, what he's doing in town. And learn just how intricate of a, an art this really is. It's beautiful. And you don't hear a lot of people playing, no. taking up classical guitar anymore. Because it's hard. That's why. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right now. You have to know more than three chords, Christy. <laughs> Okay, Mark, still ahead this half hour, classical guitarist Peter Fletcher, and it's been called one of the great love stories of the 20th centuries. Yvette, thank you. The time now is 8.41. You know, it's always nice to welcome home one of our own. Classical guitarist Peter Fletcher has conquered the world already with his style, and now he has come back to Atlanta so he can share that talent with the home folks. And we like to say welcome back to Good Day. Good to see you. Well, thank you very much. I've been waiting for this all day. I told you I love classical guitar. Um, I want to give some folks a little catch-up story on you. You started when you were six years old. I don't think that'll surprise a lot of folks because the really gifted folks do start really young but why classical guitar well I started when I was six not knowing a whole lot about the guitar yeah. other than that I really loved it yeah. and uh, took some lessons and um, eventually when I got in the third grade um, I got a very good teacher John Sutherland who told me who if I started with the classical style then other styles would come easier right so right. I started with classical and loved it and uh, stuck with it now at six years old what kind of artists were you listening to do you remember people who might have influenced you or, or sounds and music that kind of shaped you I think that my career is probably a little atypical and that classical music wasn't played in, sure. in, in the home as much as uh, as, as other artists but um, but I just, for some reason, love the guitar. I don't, I don't know why. Yeah, I just, just was to it when you heard it. intrigued by it and loved to watch it when it was ever on TV. Mm. And um, I don't really know why I loved it so much, but it was uh, just something I was very interested in from a very early age. Now, you are very gifted at this, and there's a lot of folks who, and I told you, I know people who, oh, I want to play golf. Because when you hear it, it's so beautiful, and you think, that's what I want to do. But then you get in, and you realize it's a lot more involved than you probably thought. Yeah. It, right, classical style is the f um, it's the most challenging style, but it's the most rewarding. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Kind of explain for folks who may not have uh, you know music knowledge or and ever been involved in a music curriculum what it is about classical style that that is such a challenge. Well, classical guitar is a little bit different. It, it uses nylon strings. Um, the neck's a little bit wider as opposed to a steel string guitar, which yeah. has a, a larger, lower belt, and it uses steel strings. And um, you're playing music which is polyphonic, meaning that there's several different melodies going on at one time. So tell folks how that can break down. You could be doing a, a, a lot of different things at once. Exactly, right. You can, you can do um, two or three melodies at a time. You can mm -hmm. do a melody and accompany it um, with, with some harmony. And um, I tell people, again, what I was told, if you start with a classical style, it gives you a bass. Mm. Um, and, then, and then when you go on to other styles, it'll be a little bit easier. Well, you've done a lot. I know that you've got the art of classical guitar out. You, I heard you're already working on your 2003 project. You've already, already got things going on there. You got, um, you, you've got a program coming up at uh, St. Philip on the 15th of this month. Tell us a little bit about that before you perform. Right. That's March 15th at the Cathedral of St. Philip. And I'm doing... Um, some music by a Spanish composer, mm. Federico Mampou. He wrote some music for the guitar, and, and I also took some of his piano music and transcribed it oh, for the okay. guitar. Okay, that's going to sound great. Well, what are we going to hear from you today? I'm doing Sunburst by Andrew York, who is originally from Atlanta. All right, another Atlantan. Well, I'm going to let you get ready and set up over there. Do not miss this performance of Peter Fletcher's. He'll be, again, performing at the Cathedral of St. Philip. That's March the 15th. And if you'd like more information, you can log on to Peter's website. It's peterfletcher.com. Now here he is, Peter Fletcher. 